I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Ugh, you scared me. I'm so sorry. I was just eating some pizza. Would you like some? I took one slice out of this many. Let's count how many slices I have. So in total, I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight slices, and I ate one. Mm. Delicious. That means that leaves you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slices, or seven out of eight. Hey, that's a fraction. That reminds me. I have to teach you fractions today, don't I? Let's get started. Let me just... Let me just take another bite, okay? Mm. Delicious. Alright, ready? Okay. So, let's see. <coughs> Alright, so let's see. So, last time I taught you was fractions, okay? For an example, I have a pizza right here, okay? And I cut it up into eight slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Eight slices. So that means I have eight in total. Okay. But I ate one. Okay. So that leaves you with... 7 out of 8, alright? So remember, my 7 is going to be my numerator, and my 8 is my denominator, okay? Let's see. Let's see how mixed numbers works, okay? Mixed numbers. Okay, so that means I have 3 out of two fourths so this is what a mixed number will look like okay so this three is my whole number okay okay and then this is my fraction so that means in order for it to be a mixed number i have to have a whole number plus a fraction which will then equal a mixed number, okay? Let's see what that looks like in pictures. Three, three and two, four. Okay, so my three is my whole number, so that means I have three full things, okay? And then I have one other pizza that's cut up into how many slices? Four, good. Okay. And how many are already eaten? Two, good. That's two fourths. And then this is three. So together, that makes it three and two fourths. And that's called a mixed number, good. So we learned about fractions, a proper fraction, okay, which is the one on top, which is 7 eighths, which is when my numerator is bigger than my denominator, good. And then we learn about mixed numbers, which is when I have a full number and a fraction, good. 
Now, what's the other fraction that I talked about? Who remembers what I talked about last time? Good, improper fraction. So let's look at them. So if you remember, improper fractions is when my numerator is bigger good than my denominator. So for an example, I have 11 out of 4, okay? So 11 over 4 is an improper fraction. Okay? But how does that work, Ms. Rios? Good question, okay? Because my denominator is my total and my numerator is how many pieces, right? If I only have four total, but I have 11, isn't that going over? Yes. So let's see what that looks like, okay? So we have to count how many pieces until we get to what number? 11, good, because how many pieces is my numerator, okay? So I have this pizza that's cut up into how many slices? Four, good. Okay. And how many slices are taken? Eleven. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four. Is that eleven? No, we need to keep going, okay? So it's cut up into how many slices again? Four, good. Okay, let's keep counting. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 8. Am I at 11? No. So I, do I need to keep going? Yes. So let's keep going. So I have another pizza that's cut into how many slices? 4. Good. Okay, so the last one was 8. Let's keep going. 9, 10, 11. So there we go. We got 11. Alright, so what do we see here? What do you see? You see two full pizzas that are eaten, okay. So that's my whole number. Good. What else? What else do you see? You see another pizza that's what? A fraction. Good. And so what type of fraction? Well, what is it? Okay, my numerator is going to be three. Good. And my denominator is going to be what? Four. Good. Wait, 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 wait. Let's look at this again. I have two full pizzas that are eaten, so that's my two, that's my whole number, okay? Then I have a third pizza that's a fraction, three-fourths. What does that look like? Good, a whole, a mixed number. You mean to tell me that an improper fraction is just another way to write a mixed number? What? Isn't that crazy? Later on, I'll show you how to switch them back and forth, okay? But yes, an improper fraction is just another fancy way of writing a mixed number, okay? We took that whole number right here and just convert it into how many pieces, okay? So for an example, our whole numbers are four pieces, so I had two whole numbers, so that means 4 plus 4 equals 8, and then plus a 3 up here, 9, 10, 11. That's how many pieces I have in total. Then my denominator is the same, because my denominator for each pizza is always going to be what number? 4, good. Later on, I'll show you how to do that correctly, okay? But this is just an idea how we do that. Alright, so we learned about proper fractions, we learned about mixed numbers, and then we learned about and proper fractions. Let's talk about more about unit fractions, okay? All right, so a unit fraction. Now remember I said in the last video, a unit fraction is a fraction that has a one as my numerator, okay? But let me tell you why. So a unit fraction is a one where where my numerator is one, but it also represents one part of my whole, okay? So for an example, my denominator is what here? Good, a four, look at you learning. And my numerator is the 
one good so that means I have a pizza that's cut into how many slices in total four good okay but only how many were eaten good one okay so a unit fraction is when I just have one equal part out of four let's do another one okay let's count how many this one is okay so that means my denominator is what six good okay and a unit fraction of this would be just one part of the whole so it'd be one six okay so think about it i have a pizza and it's eight slices okay and i just ate one so my unit fraction for that is what one eighth good so a unit fraction is when uh, it's just one part out of the whole. So my numerator is always going to be one no matter what. So now you can identify unit fractions, okay? Good. So today we just learned about unit fractions, improper fractions, proper fractions, and mixed numbers. Look at you being smart. Now you know all four fractions. All right, so let's look at our exit ticket. Which of the following correctly shows three-fourths of the model colored, okay? So that means I have four in total, okay? And out of the four total, I have three shaded. Which one looks like that? A, B, or C? Make sure you write this down in your journal and you have the correct answer, okay? That is it for today. We just learned about fractions. Tomorrow we're gonna learn more about fractions, okay? I hope you have a good night's sleep because we're gonna learn a lot tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Bye.